The state prosecutors under the Directorate of Public Prosecution have stayed away from work for two days now, demanding for better pay. The government has given way to pressure to raise their salaries. The director of public prosecutions would be getting 26.5 million per month, which is at the level of the Registrar General. Then the lowest prosecutor will be getting an equivalent of 3.5 million from 550,000. So uh, as a committee, we believe this is a positive step uh, by government. Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Major General Kahindo Tafire has written a commitment letter explaining that a cabinet subcommittee has agreed to waive their taxes. With immediate effect, there would be tax exemption. So arrangements are being made to have uh, an amendment to the Income Tax Act to exempt prosecutors from paying tax. It is pay as you earn and the local service tax that we've been paying. The Director of Public Prosecution, DPP Justice Mike Chibita, whose salary has been elevated from 10 million shillings to 26.5 million shillings, is happy with this development. I think everybody agrees that uh, the prosecutors are not well paid. That is no longer in dispute. So the issue really should be, should the matter have been allowed to get to this point? And of course the answer is no, the matter should not have been allowed to get to this point. This does not mean that the strike has been called off. We sent out, uh, we've been sending out messages, but most likely it will be on Monday 17th. Because we thought Saturday we would try, but our prosecutors are scattered across the country and it will be very hard. Today is Thursday, so the strike is still on until the General Assembly advises otherwise. So we are hoping that uh, the executive will be able to call a General Assembly meeting sometime and then uh, present, uh, present uh, them with uh, the offer that government has made. Otafide's commitment later promises that the increment will be implemented in three months through a supplementary budget to be passed by Parliament. Right now what is going on, we've engaged with the technical people in the office of DPP to help us come up with the numbers, the figures to compute uh, which figures will be availed to government to raise a supplementary budget which they undertook to do so in 90 days. The Deputy Attorney General Mwesugwaru Kutan told NTV that in an effort to resolve the impasse, the Prime Minister Dr. Wakana Rugunda will convene a crisis meeting tomorrow. The strike paralyzed proceedings in court countrywide. Jingo Francis, NTV.